Okay. We're back. We are! We're back! No! <gasps> Twilight need her glasses! Oh wait, you're gonna use them? Yeah, I can't see you anyway. Okay. No, I promise. <laughs> Alright. Greetings. Greetings everybody. This is Octavia and <laughs> Book Princess Twilight and, and they're doing the let's play, not us. Yeah, okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> I don't wanna play. This music is simply so not really <laughs> That's you. It's way too wild west for my taste. <laughs> Shut up, Octavia. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, for this last part, this is gonna be a short episode, actually. Right. Or maybe not. But uh, we're gonna need a lot of... A lot... Mm? Of uh, all of them, actually. Okay. Okay. That should be enough. Mm. Let's go with the Pikmin flag! Woo! Yeah. Yeah, so it's still October 28th. And we have 97 Pikmins running with us, and they're all flowers. And the monsters have respawned, look at that! Huh. That's not nice! But I'm gonna save my Danish friend <laughs> over here. He's part of the group. Okay. Wait a second, we have... Okay, 98. So, that is Martin. I guess. Your Danish friend, Martin, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, look at that! You know the monster he stomped our Pikmins? Yeah. Some of them didn't die, they just got planted. Well then. So, three of them is uh, planted, or two of them, I don't know. Alright, we blew up the wall, so that's nice, we can just... <gasps> Why? Blue one! <laughs> Let's just raid this guy, all of them. Oh! Holy shit! Oh no! Oh! Why did you do that? I was not prepared for that. <laughs> oh my god, that toss. But none of them died, so I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, we have 97 now. Where is the... There it is. 98. Now this place is kind of dangerous. You know, you would like to like push them to the wall like this. Mm -hmm. And then run. But I have had an accident where I did that. And all of them got over that um, you the... know, fence oh. thing. And... Oh shit. And um, all of them died. Because if you throw them down here, they just disappear and die. <laughs> so I was like, damn it. Let's, let's just get all of them on this Poor one. child creams. Yeah. This game came out like 2001, I think. Mm -hmm. So I was... Nine years old. Huh. When I played this game the first time. I was fem. Five. Fem. Five. <laughs> yeah. And I got all my games on either my birthday, the 5th of November, which is pretty soon actually. Yeah. And um, on Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I didn't get new games often. So whenever I got a new game, I, I was forcing myself to love it. <laughs> and I played it a lot because I, yeah, no, it's a new game. It's like, holy shit, a new game finally. What about the games for the console you never used? Which one? The one that's still in your wardrobe. At your mom's house. Oh, the Kexbox. Yeah. Uh, the very first original Xbox. Uh, well. Well. Uh, well. As I, as I told you, I didn't have any, you know, good games for it, and. Um, but you forced yourself to like the other games. Yeah, I did play them, but they were so mediocre. It was a it was a typical standard like a racing game and a shooter game. It's hmm. like this is not very creative at all. Hmm. This is a good enough game for me. I'm too creative to play this game. Was it uh, like that? I would rather play these games. Yeah, yeah. It was like that. Mm-hmm. And um, let's see. All right, so we need the blue ones. Wait, wait what are we doing now again? What? What are we doing? I forgot. I'm gonna get the two remaining parts. Ha! Oh, I can't. Oh. There's one up there. So this one is a little tiny bit tricky for like new players, but you need the blue ones to activate that one. Okay. And then you need the yellow ones, because they're the only ones who can reach up here. Okay. If you throw them higher. Yeah. I think that should be enough, but let's get some more. We have all the time in the world. No, I have least... to get to the, that level before the 15th day. Yes, but we will. The next day we're gonna go to the Distant Spring, a all new right. stage. And which is also the hardest. And then you need, of course, the yellow ones for this one. Yeah. And 15, and I got 15. Nice. Oh. Good creeps. Yeah. Oh, look at that! <laughs> a Libra? My daughter gave this to me. It's named after her. Astronomical, astrological sign. 
my sweet little girl. Yeah, I wonder what she's doing right at this moment. Moment, she's probably watching ponies. Oh my god, they died. Like me, Grims, I'm out. I can't do this. <laughs> I feel so sorry for all the more like living his family and all that. Mm. Oh, what the hell is what? going on? What? All right, so we're not gonna let the yellow ones take that. Because, you know, there's fire things. Mm -hmm. Let's get some fire ones. And also we have fire enemies outside. Waiting. Right. So the red ones are gonna be just fine. <laughs> so the red ones are for carrying the stuff. The blue ones are for going into the water and activate shit. And the yellow ones are used to reach it. Yeah. yeah. So that, I like that, that they designed it that way, that you need all of them. Mm. And this one is very easy. Just blue ones. No, yellow! I got a yellow one. I did. <laughs> Three. There we go. And this is a computer. A TV! Analog computer, oh. nice. This computer conveys the kind of vague data that falls outside the range of ones and zeros. Okay. Actually, to be honest, it it's a little bit too vague. So it isn't very helpful. <laughs> What's vague? I don't remember. Uh, it's dog. Hmm. Alright. I think. I like the sound it makes. Mm. And all right, get them off there. And how many did we need? Twenty or something? Something like mate. No, not the other ones. Stop it, Crims! What the fuck are you doing, boy? Are you freaking serious? Why aren't they getting up? What's so wrong with you? To, to oh, they can't. There's like a wall there. Oh. And they did survive for a very long time. Nice. Oh. Very proud of you, boys. Okay, good. That's actually nice. I want the red ones to get it. There we go. I think that's all of the things we need to get here. There is like a stick. Okay. Okay, so instead of running back that way which we came from, we can just go over here. Oh, holy shit. Ah! There's a wheel. Where did that come from? From the ground. I didn't see it. Ah! <laughs> He's very weird. Oh. Retreat! He doesn't hurt anyone. He's just running around and it's like, leave me alone, Grims. Hmm. Stop it. Uh, let's see. Will they fall into the water if we. Yes, they will. Uh. Okay. Stop it. Leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> if I leave you alone, then please leave me alone. Let's get the blue ones uh, on this thing, and then on the stick. Stick. The stick. Oh, does that even work? You make sense of this. Okay. No. No. <laughs> yes, no. So they can climb up there. I don't know what's the point actually, but hey, whatever. Yeah. So the yellow ones need to go back the normal way. Hmm. I guess they will land in water, mm. right? Yes, they will. Um, okay. There's the Libra! And that will turn, I mean, show on the ship, right? Yeah! That was weird, the glitter was down there, but it appeared up there. Uh. <laughs> um, a late return must have her very worried. Okay. So why would he need that just to escape home? I don't know. Well, as he said, some parts aren't necessary, right? Yeah. Yeah. He just wants them. Yes, so the yellow ones, I don't know, are we gonna try to get them into the water and save them? No. Or run back the normal run. way? Run. Uh, just do it. Okay. Crimps. So half of the day has almost gone and we are done with all the parts. As soon as they get um, the computer back. Yeah. The very vague computer. That marching sound. Mm -hmm. Because you can control them with the C stick like this. And they make that sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, are we gonna end it early? I mean, the day? Or are we just gonna run around and like no. kill enemies and. Just end the episode. And go to Distant Spring? Yes! You wanna see that place? Sure! It's pretty damn cool. Okay. Wait, didn't get that fire one in the last episode? I don't know. I don't know. This game is weird. Yeah. There's a computer. A vague one. A vague computer. The analog computer. It's not so digital. Huh. 
Which is pretty weird, how can a computer not be digital? <laughs> oh yeah, he said it goes beyond the ones and the zeros. Yeah, how? How does it do that? <laughs> you want to know. I really do, I want to know how this machine works. Mm. I hope he says something new here. And you agree. This computer just want to be on ones and zeros just to troll with creams. Yeah. All right. That's what it says. The outward emotions of the dolphin's computer. Okay, it strengthens it. While it does make the computer smart, it also makes it quick and quick to anger. It's just like my boss. No. I don't get this thing. No. Ten more parts, and that's in the last stage. Okay. Woo! Woo! And let's get the blue ones down here. I like that that thing is floating. Mm -hmm. So cool. So cool. And uh, that's all of them. Oh. So we could just press start and end this, and we will never return to this stage again! Oh my god! Won't be sad? Yeah. Very sad? Yeah. I mean, how many commentaries am I gonna make on this game? Oh. And how many times will I show this place oh. again? Zero. Never again. Oh. It's out. Oh. Make... Say goodbye, everybody. It's so sad. You're making it sound so horrible. I kind of think like that sometimes. Mm, like this, this, I'm doing commentary do on this that. game now. I'm not gonna show this place anymore. We're done here. Don't see that. Mm. Are we gonna go and rescue these two? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are we just gonna leave them? Yeah. Because we're gonna escape from this planet and yeah. just leave them there? <sighs> yeah. Fine, let's end this <laughs> part. It's gonna be super short. I'm sorry and about that. Now he plays a flute and then it gets night. No, okay. No, wait, there's Link. It's uh, Ocarina. <laughs> no, uh, I mean, Ocarina is the flute, right? It's not the Ocarina don't play itself. Link plays it. That's what I'm. It's still an Ocarina, it's not a flute. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of our friends bought an Ocarina recently. Huh. Bullen. All right, yeah. he can play it all, also, right? Yep. Huh. Do you want one? I've never been good with, uh, you know, instruments where you blow. Don't you want to you just have it, just to have it to feel like, mm. yeah, I can, I can I'm Link now? Well, I have my harmonica. Yeah. That's okay. Nine days since impact. Ir iridescent, iridescent flit, flint beetle, it's the name of that mm -hmm. thing. Iridescent flint beetle. This creature's hypnotic reflective body is quite hard, giving it a good defense against Pikmin attacks. Why then do the Pikmins chase it in such a frenzy? I wonder if it will undergo any change if I hit it directly with Pikmins. We did that. It flips over. So he should know. <laughs> <laughs> All in more. Too drunk. Stop it. Okay, we lost no one, so that's good. Yeah. And that was the forest naval, and also the end of this part. And in the next one, we're gonna meet the hardest boss in the game. Hmm. In the distant spring. Because if you go here on the fifth day or before... 15th. The 15th, yes. Uh, you can find an optional boss, which is pretty damn hard and difficult. But we're gonna show it and try to beat him. The first thing we do once we arrive on stage. Yep. Yep. So thank you everybody, and we will see you on the next episode. Yeah, go watch it now. Yes, but Twilight Attack. Du måste ju offa lite för att videon ska bli intressant.